uh, a keynote from the president of the Entrepreneurs Club. Yeah, on behalf of the Entrepreneurs Club, we'd just like to thank you for coming in. Um, but with uh, businesses like Etsy and Craigslist becoming more and more popular, how do you see eBay evolving upon itself and innovating? And have you ever lost an option on eBay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Let me tell you. So when uh, uh, I almost lost, the one that I almost lost uh, was uh, uh, for, you know, for uh, my, my wedding present to my wife. Uh, which was, you know, family may know is a she used to be a um, uh, collector of Pez dispensers and there is a variety of room Pez which are really fun after, you know, in the And I was there and I was totally totally yeah, the entrepreneur, I'm completely the last minute guy, I'm procrastinating about everything. Last minute auction and I was I was I mean these things were like thousands of dollars and they were not, you know, cheap. Uh, and uh, so I was sitting and I was it was very nerve-wracking because if I didn't win that auction, you know, I didn't have a, I didn't have a wedding gift. <laughs> <laughs> Go up there. You know, how is eBay changing? I, I, I mean, I will say, um, uh, the thing, you know, uh, being an entrepreneur, I mean, it's just a remarkable experience. It's building eBay, and it's just so wonderful. I learned, learned so much, and it's so gratifying. Community really built this incredible, incredible place to be back. When you when you get to be a large organization, and I'm, and I'm chairman of the board now. We have a, we have a great board. We have 16,000 employees around the world. 16,000 is really different than 16, you know, and 150 and 1,000. I mean, it's really different, and uh, it can be difficult for large organizations to make the changes they need to make to see that they're being uh, out competed. So absolutely, you know, so eBay has been has been sometimes slow to act, has made mistakes. We you know, we uh, I made mistakes as, as an entrepreneur, you know, when it was just me, but as a large organization we've made we made more important mistakes. We haven't invested in technology uh, as, uh, as much as we needed to and as early as we needed to. All you know, all these we were correcting and we we were starting to correct more. But it's uh, it is you know one of the things, it was great talking to you a little bit earlier. One of the things that, uh, for you entrepreneurs who are going to create businesses, if you create a successful business, you have to get used to the whole thing. You have to get used to the fact that nobody listens to the CEO. <laughs> <laughs> this is an incredible thing that I learned. You know, nobody listens to the CEO. I don't know. You're going to be, you know, I don't know if you guys are going to be that experience. If people don't listen to the CEO, that's the one thing I have to get used to. Tell people what to do, they're supposed to do it. Thank you. Okay, so being named listen.